And Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson is back now with another look at uh, one of our local volcanoes Our local here. volcano. Yeah. I thought that'd be a nice little view. A beautiful day up on the mountain, as you would expect. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know, just always a reminder that our mountain is uh, just sleeping, too. That's Devil's Kitchen right here. I think, was it somebody last week or two weeks ago, a hiker fell into that area. But, um, yeah, it's often bare because it's uh, very warm rocks there. There are fumaroles and, and gases there, and actually to the left side of the crater as well. That whole thing is actually... This is all actually an opened up crater from one of the last eruptions on Mount Hood. That's a central like volcanic plug. Remember Mount St. Helens when it last uh, about 15 years ago when it was pushing up that big fin of rock? It's basically the same thing, crater rock, perfectly named. Anyway, there. All right, that's your volcano update. So it's mild up on the mountain, although not as warm as yesterday. We had a kind of a coolish east wind coming over the top of the mountains. But boy, when that goes downhill, we get rid of the inversion. It really warmed up today. So 58 out of our Shiloh and Seaside can. There's a sunset there. Got an approaching sunset at our Chinook Winds Beach Camp, too. 63, a little warmer down on the central coast. Here are the official numbers today. And a few places really skyrocketed, including here in Portland. Notice other spots uh, right about what we expected, around 60 at Kelso. Uh, Eugene, slower to break out of the fog and clouds. And Roseburg had real trouble getting out of the fog and clouds in the inversion. 46 there, so it's quite a range. And then east side, you were actually a little bit cooler in spots. So here are the records for today. Uh, all these were daily records for February 11th. So 68 at Vancouver, 68 at McMinnville. Not on this chart, it was 69, but not a record at Aurora. So very close to 70 in parts of the metro. 67, 67, 66 at Hillsborough. That was a tied record for the day and the coolest out near the gorge where the wind was stronger, of course, and that keeps you from getting quite as warm. Uh, tonight, no frost. We're going to stay clear. Nothing changes west side, but it will be freezing, of course, east side because it is winter. All right, so what's ahead? I think it's pretty clear. You can look at your app and it looks like a great weekend, right? Yes, warm and dry. I don't think we'll see any fog tonight because now we've really dried things out. It's a very, you may feel it either on your skin or your hair. Very dry air mass has moved in. Uh, relative humidity down around 20%. Just a few high clouds show up Sunday. So Sunday is the cloudier of the two days. Still warm though. I think we'll back off the temperatures a few degrees. We won't get as much of that warm wind coming down off the Cascades. It'll be coming maybe more through the gorge. Minor technicality, but that's why I don't think we'll be 67 again tomorrow. We will see. Uh, wet Valentine's Day, that's been pretty well advertised too. And then I think it'll be mainly dry Tuesday and beyond. And I sure don't see any stormy weather. And I don't see any chance for a, or a low cloud or any chance for a low level snow or um, cold weather. All right, looks like we'll see uh, pretty good weather for tomorrow. Maybe a puffy jacket briefly in the morning, but that'll be it. Now, that easterly wind does continue through tomorrow. And look at that, all the way into Sunday. But then you see the high clouds starting to show up later Sunday. And just in time to go back to work Monday morning as you go into the office or wherever, it's raining. So your Saturday forecast, we're going to be near a record. I think the record tomorrow is 63, so it might be one degree off. Um, look for a warm evening again for your Saturday evening, like outdoor dining should be good. And then the seven day forecast Sunday looks great. You know, Camilla, the big change Sunday is we don't have the wind, so it'll be very calm, but still about the same temperature. And then we got the showers Monday, maybe a shower or two Tuesday, Wednesday, and then dry the latter part of next week again. So again, uh, here we are heading towards the end of February, no sign of normal rainy, stormy weather.